Greetings, welcome back to the channel. Don't adjust your screen, I do have a Casio for you today. This is the Duro, sometimes called the Marlin. It's the MDV 106 1A2V. This is my favorite version of the Duro and I can't wait to show it to you. Let's get started. I've unboxed and reviewed a Duro before, so I'll put a link, but today's not about that. I just want to show you this watch and show you why I like it so much. And if you're guessing it's because of the Pepsi bezel, you are correct. And I'll get to my point in a minute. Let's get the protective film off of the beautiful mineral crystal. And there it is. This is our Casio MDV 106. And I have heard rumors that these are being discontinued, but... They are still available on Casio's website as well as Amazon. I will put a link to the one that I purchased. Casio is now producing the MDV-107, which omits the Marlin or Sailfish. It's arguable that that logo is a Sailfish, but it's called the Marlin, so that's what we're going with. But the more popular nickname is the Duro. Originally released in 2011, this has become an iconic, dare I say legendary watch for Casio. It's a 200 meter water resistant diver, 44 millimeter case size, mineral crystal, screw down crown and a screw down case back, resin band, 22 millimeter lug, and a three year battery. And did I mention how accurate that movement is? Plus or minus 20 seconds per month. So yeah, we all know the Duro is a proven awesome starter watch. It's a awesome everyday signature watch, a one watch collection, you name it. But I just wanted to show you this Pepsi bezel because I am in love with it. I've never been a huge Pepsi bezel fan, but it just works so well with this watch and it looks like it's in a different class. This watch has no idea that it only costs $50 and love the polished coin edge of the 120 click rotating bezel. There's a little bit of play in it, but it's still very well within the tolerance of forgiveness there. And it, I love the click. It's got a nice crisp click to the 120 tooth mechanism. So I'm very pleased and like what I'm seeing so far with this watch. Let's talk about timekeeping and this movement. We have our screw down crown that is protected with a couple of crown guards. There is a spring in there, which gives it a little resistance to the crown. Once unscrewed, if we pull out to the first step, we are in date set mode and we roll that towards us counterclockwise to roll to the proper date. Your next and last step out is to set your time and you can see our second hand has been hacked. So it's stopped so you can really dial in Pinpoint accuracy, pretty straightforward stuff, but a very nice dependable movement with that 2784 quartz module. Did I mention how much I love that reflective sheen on the dial? It's got a wonderful gradient shimmer to it and it just gives a nice reflection and nice detail. Less is more here, it's, it's a simple, watch face it's a simple dial but sometimes simplicity adds character and i think that uh definitely sums it up here let's go ahead and pull this off of the stand and zoom in again and just give you some different looks here just love everything about this watch let's flip the watch over and take a look at the details on the case back we have a wonderful radial brushing on the case and back itself with a high polish segment right at the notches of course our iconic marlin or sailfish and other vitals such as 20 bar water resistance uh, the module model number stainless steel casio japan movement cased in china so nice details there on our duro let's take a look at our standard resin band have a nice brushed stainless steel buckle it does say stainless steel china on it have your resin keeper there and some interesting detail with the taper it actually starts wider than your lugs and tapers down but of course with the 22 millimeter lug width you can switch out your watch band or strap put a nato on it but the watch definitely looks great as is as we mount our duro onto a pillow there's so many good things i love about this watch now let's talk about uh what i don't love about it yep you guessed it the loom and don't adjust your screen as I bring in my SKX 007 from Seiko. 
No, there's nothing wrong with the camera. The loom on the Duro is horrible. <laughs> but if you keep your everyday carry flashlight with you, you can keep this thing charged up. Too bad the charge doesn't last longer than a couple of minutes, but, you know, still. You know, this isn't a major deal breaker, but it's definitely something to point out. The loom is not incredible as it fades against our Seiko SKX007. Seiko's loom is legendary, and, you know, this isn't horrible, but um, definitely something I wanted to point out, that the loom isn't great on the Duro. There, I said it. Let's take a quick look at some side-by-side -side comparisons here. We have my original black Duro that I did a review on and love this watch. It's really the, the standard for the Duro. You know, when you think back to the history of dive watches, really the black die on black bezel is sort of the industry standard when you go back to the Rolex Submariner or even the early Seikos in the 60s, you think of that iconic black dive watch. But when you add that Pepsi bezel on our Duro, it just takes it to the next level and it makes the watch a lot more versatile because you can really sport it up or really dress it up. And the watch is very interesting and it makes the simplicity of the dial and all of the details really stand out and at the same time tie in together and it just looks like it's meant to be. And of course, there are many different colorways that you can get. And again, look at that link to see which one you like the best. While I like the black, and I think it's perhaps more iconic, and again, I've never been a big Pepsi bezel fan, it just works with this watch, and it's just awesome. Of course, we've got to get this thing on the wrist to finalize our opinion and confirm what we already suspect, but the resin band... A little rigid, but still very comfortable, lightweight, weighing in at 3.2 ounces or 92 grams, in case you were wondering. I forgot to mention that. So very comfortable, very happy with this watch, and can't say it enough. This Pepsi bezel does something for me, and you can't replace the Duro. If you have a collection, you owe it to yourself to check out a Duro. These Casios are awesome, and... I'm buying another one. There, I said it. That's what I got for this time, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And I will see you next time.